Hello everyone, today's uh, new video is The Shadow, Dorian Aids is the third episode in Know Your Pro's Golden Days Bodybuilding. I'm a big fan of Dorian Aids, not only for his tremendous physical development, but also for the work ethic and focus he has demonstrated over a decade. He gave a new meaning to bodybuilding and presented it in the way it is. No nonsense, no bullshit. As a teenager, Dorian moved along with his family to Birmingham. He was sentenced to six months at a youth detention center. Yates started uh, working out in 1983. He quickly became a force to be reckoned with and uh, within no time he became a British champion. Despite being a British champion, uh, he did not have enough money or endorsements unlike champion bodybuilders in the States. The hard times did not disturb or destroy Dorian Aid's focus and ambition. He set his eyes on the ultimate crown in bodybuilding, which is Mr. Olympia. He shocked everyone with his incredible physique and great conditioning. He took second to late Muhammad Beneziza at Ninth of Champions in 1990 and first place at Knight of Champions 1991 and made his presence known to everyone in Mr. Olympia 1991 by taking second place to the great Lee Haney. He made a solid statement there and it was evident that a new Mr. Olympia was on the horizon. Lee Haney retired in 1991 and thus the Dorian era began in 1992 when he won the Mr. Olympia in the same year. Dorian represented a hard-working and no-nonsense champion who made sure his physique would do the talking and he spent his uh, energy in crafting the physique. Uh, he's one who brought uh, this uniqueness to bodybuilding with uh, the grainy look and the ripped-to-the-bone shredded physique. Uh, he took bodybuilding to new heights with incredible mass and his back, triceps, quads and calves were out of the world specifically uh, you know specifically the back development he had a uh, huge lats and uh, back development was tremendous i mean he w he was also known to train with a uh, lot of intensity he won mr olympia six times right from 1992 to 1997 then he retired in 1997 due to uh, injury. Matter of fact, it was a triceps tear, and that particular Olympia was very controversial, saying that you know, uh, despite having a torn triceps, it was given to uh, Dorian. But I think uh, he did win it uh, fair and square. If you do the math, uh, I agree with that. He took uh, the high-intensity training method from Arthur Jones and Mike Mencia and took it to new levels and advocated high intensity training method. He did uh, do a bit of a twitch to uh, you know, Mike Mencio's uh, training philosophy. He always looked up and respected Mike Mencio, uh, but Mike Mencio was not his uh, trainer. That's something which is often uh, you know, brought up saying Mike Mencio uh, was actually training him for Mr. Olympia, but Dorian did clear it that uh, he really respected uh, Mike Mencio and his uh, uh, thought process, but he never hired him or, ne or Mike never trained him. They did, uh, I think, a couple of uh, training sessions in uh, when he was in the uh, U.S. training for Mr. Olympia, and those were great sessions. That's, that's what uh, uh, Dorian said. Uh, Dorian was a true champion, and now after retirement, he runs chain of uh, you know gyms called as Temple Gym. That's where he actually started training. A very hardcore uh, uh, gym, you know, uh, beautiful, uh, uh, beautifully. Uh, I wouldn't say maintained, but uh, it's it's good. It's uh, it's a great gym. Uh, it's all uh, you know, just hardcore workout. And his and he has his own uh, supplement line, which is called as Dory Needs. Uh, nutrition so if you love Dory Nates if you like you know if you like this uh, video please subscribe to my channel hit the like button and please share the video thank you